This is Iron Man 2 comic series, Iron Man Silver Centurion. Um, the figure is part of Wave 3 of the Iron Man comic series uh, figures, uh, Iron Man 2 uh, toy line. Um, the figure, come, as always, comes with a, uh, with a figure stand or a base. And there's a place where you can put the three armor cards that comes with the figure, as well as an energy blast, a recycled yellow translucent energy blast which is found in practically most of the Iron Man figures of the comic series. That's that. Uh, here's the assortment and uh, uh, the bio uh, talking about uh, the first armor suit designed purely for combat uh, by Tony Stark. Uh, you know if you follow the comic books I'm sure you're, you're uh, well aware of uh, the history of, of this particular armor. So that's that. Uh, for those of you who have been collecting Iron Man 2 uh, figures, this figure is essentially, let me put it here, a redeco of the mold that they use, that Hasbro used for the uh, uh, neo classic armor uh, Iron Man. Uh, let me just send him up straight. Uh, there's not a lot that has been changed with the figure. Uh, in fact, uh, the uh, arms, the legs, uh, torso uh, of the figure is essentially the same uh, with different paint apps. A uh, few modifications that they put on the figure are, well, obviously the head sculpt, as you can see. This one's a little bit smaller. This one is just right, I think, just the right size, a little bit bigger uh, than this one, but it is very, very comic accurate for Silver Centurion. Um, Okay, let's put him here. It's a bit annoying now. Uh, they still share, well, they do have those hinge uh, shoulder pads. Uh, this one is triangular, this one is uh, spherical. Uh, and they've managed to somehow um, fix the, uh, the chest plate. It, this one's done in a little bit, this one's a little bit bulkier, it's a little bit stouter. Uh, without the, 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 the round reactor, they put a triangular reactor that's actually a I think it's a type. It's a soft kind of plastic. They've really super glued. Um, the, the plastic has been molded to form the backpack and the triangular reactor. They've sort of glued it on to the uh, upper torso, so it's not removable. But other than that, uh, the chest, torso, everything, articulation down to articulation, is the same uh, for this figure and this figure. Uh, so we're gonna rid of this one for now. Paint scheme, uh, it's a very it's a metallic silver with metallic red. Uh, this uh, these pieces are not painted in metallic red; they're just molded in glossy red. Uh, other than that, you know, I was a big fan of the uh, neo classic armor figure, and I just you know decided to go go ahead and go with this figure, even even though the Silver Centurion is really not one of my favorite uh, armors of Iron Man, but of Tony Stark, but um, I went ahead and, and got him, and uh, surprisingly, I, w I was a bit impressed with this figure. It didn't, it, it didn't suck as, as, as much as I thought it would, but uh, uh, it's pretty good, uh, despite being a full-fledged redeco repaint. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, between the two, I'm beginning to like this one more than this one. But I, I still have a lot of love for this figure. It's just that this one is really captures the whole essence of the Silver Centurion. Uh, I, I mean, you know, it's not the best armor, I think. Uh, but but back in the day, this was one of the classic armors that really uh, a lot of the fans really remember. Unfortunately, I don't have the Toy Biz figure for the Silver Centurion. Uh, it's a six inch figure that's almost exactly like this one with some a little bit more detail. Yeah, I didn't bother getting it uh, because I missed out on it. But overall, very nice figure. Uh, you might want to pass up on this one if you're not really a hardcore Iron Man collector. But if you are and you love the three and three quarter scale, I highly recommend you pick this one up. Really, really worth it. There you have it. Uh, Iron Man 2 comic series. Iron Man, the uh, Silver Centurion. Thanks for watching.